Hello, everyone. Happy to be here. Happy to see uh, familiar faces. Uh, I'm uh, in this media industry since a few years uh, here in Havas as chairman and CEO. And formerly, I was running my own startup, Stream Power Enemy Award Company, uh, in which some of uh, you, I'm sure that Damien and, and other uh, executives who have been now hired by other big companies are uh, here in the room. So, what about a media agency in this field? I think that it's obvious that we have a role to play. The question is, how far can we go? And when I uh, took that challenge from uh, Vincent Bolloré, it was a crazy challenge to give to a startup uh, that kind of roadmap to change, transform, diversify, digitalize a media agency that nearly is the uh, leading uh, company in France, 28% market share, 2.5 billion euros invested in uh, whole media. It was quite uh, easy to just jump back to what I've learned during all these years in a TV company and then in my own startup. And the key point was to really start from our clients' needs, but also our partners, TV channel broadcasters, and so on. So we decided to create uh, Havas Production, which is something really new as a laboratory within Havas World, which means that it's a sort of a production agency that work for all the units, but on non-advertising content. So it's run by Antoine Robin, former journalist, great reporter, and also uh, 50 to 100 people who produce, nearly last year, 100 hours of TV content. The goal was first to achieve huge ratings, because according to me, there is no point of producing great stuff if the audience is not reached at the end. It's going to be a lose-lose deal with an unhappy customer because it has the smell of non-success and an unhappy broadcaster uh, that's going to say, okay, guys, but yeah, it was fine, it was co-subsidized, but at the end, I'm not happy with that. So really, first, it was to achieve ratings by producing, we could say, classical TV stuff, current affair, magazine, and so on. So we produce for all the TV channel, and we also second bit of the project, distribute our own content. MIP, MIPCOP, we sell our content all over the world. And I will just gather three quick examples we have done uh, with brands, but formally, I think that our first goal was to be one of the members of this very boys' room and boys' club in which it's not so easy to get the cards, so being uh, perceived as professional for TV channel and for advertisers. And then, few projects, not so many, three, four a year, not more, because I think that it's uh, not only long to sell, there is a very, very, very uh, strong conviction, uh, pressure to put on at the top of the hierarchy of our clients, but also to probably offer something a bit different. Our last project is just running, we are doing all the uh, all the footage for one of the major luxury brands in the world. Uh, it has been uh, uh, released uh, as a trailer during the last MIP. It's called Unclaimed Baggage. It's talking about Marilyn Monroe, and already more than 10 broadcasters in the world are fully, fully excited by this uh, worldwide production. But it's a magazine. It's a current affair, one shot, uh, 90, 52 to 90 minutes, uh, according to different formats. So. Three quick examples. First, uh, with, uh, with Orange, our client in, uh, in France. You know the uh, Orange uh, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday in the UK with big stars. Uh, our bet was not only to produce content around the same idea of uh, giving to Orange customer that bug off buy one, get one free for tickets and, and in order to push uh, people coming uh, Tuesday uh, in the theater because the new release are the day after and the Wednesday, but also to really focus on the paid on earn strategy we develop with all of our major clients uh, all, all, all year long, which means that Orange invest in daily motion, uh, YouTube like which uh, huge uh, uh, success worldwide. And so it's part of their own media and our strategy was really to gather these uh, bits, to connect these dots, in order for Orange to have not only a strong way to communicate and to reach the digital natives and the youngest part of their target audience, but also to really uh, uh, create a sort of leverage with Dailymotion. Uh, 
Days Orange Ciné Day. L'histoire, c'est la nouvelle offre cinéma lancée par Orange. Quand un abonné Orange achète une place de cinéma, il se voit offrir la deuxième. Il peut donc inviter qui il veut le mardi. Oh mon dieu Oh my god, quoi Oh okay. mon dieu Super, mec Sympa Le challenge, c'est de faire connaître cette offre auprès des 18-34 ans. Et que le ciné le mardi devienne un réflexe. Et bim On y va aller Attention, derrière Oh, dis-moi pas que c'est pas vrai C'est pas toi, James Bond non Ouais, non, c'est pas moi, mais en fait, on, on a changé. Maintenant, c'est moi. Je vais vous faire le, le bateau. Oh, le bateau. Ok, just to tell you that it's more than uh, nearly 5 million video views, three young talents as Norman, one of the most uh, recognized and appreciated by this target audience. And uh, also for the two other examples, more like a big, big advertorial with a huge effect on sales already. And for the last example that you can see uh, online, which is Roland Garros, it's the third year. More than 100 countries, the last uh, rating with CCTV was uh, 10 million. And of course, it's uh, around Roland Garros partnership, how to change this uh, partnership and create a proper asset for the brand, own media for the brand. And now this road to Roland Garros, tennis player in the car with uh, little uh, cameras in it, talking, interviewing before or after the, the tournament uh, was also a, a first a web success and then a broadcast success worldwide. Thanks a lot. If you have any question, thank you very much, uh, Dominique.